Alright, g'day fellas, my name's Austin Khan and welcome to part 7 of Mafia Definitive Edition. I hope you are, or the Definitive Edition, I think that's how you say it, Definitive. Um, really looking forward to playing more of the game. I apologise, I didn't play any yesterday. I was technically smashing down some Vanguard, uh, Call of Duty Vanguard, uh, but now I'm back with another video. And don't forget to subscribe, and above that, let's do this. Green car. Alright, I know I say this lots of times, loads of times, but the graphics detail looks amazing. You can actually see the puddles and stuff. I just want to give a shout out uh, to 2K and also to Hangar 13. So, Hangar 13 are the new developers for the game. Um, I don't know if they're new, but they developed Mafia 3 and 2. But 2K, man, look at those cars. Look at that car. Look at that one right there. Might choose that one, which it is. Alright, let's do it. Today, Tom. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got your clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. Well, Frank sees a Lapara, he'll know. The old ways work. Alright, let's do it. This coming now from Frank. Get to Biff's pawn shop. I'm really, really glad that, uh, well, there were a few issues with Mafia Definitive Edition back in the past, well, back in, like, when it was first released, uh, the remastered version. I'm not too sure if the trilogy will be released on PlayStation 5, the next Xbox Series X and S. Um, I'm not really rushed to buy a PS5. Um, I already have the same games that I needed for the PS5, except for Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, um, and also for Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. I will buy a PS5, but at the moment I'm just going to stay with the PS4. Um, but yeah, Sony have decided to make more PS4 consoles instead of PS5. Um, plus the PS5 is pretty expensive, it's 750 for the disc version, I'm not too sure about the non-disc um, but yeah, it is expensive and it's cheap in America, but because of the dollar differences for both consoles, uh, for, you know, both countries, USA and Australia, it's very different, um, but let's continue. Alright, so we went to Biff's shop previously, uh, in some previous episodes. Tommy, what's the rumpus? Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Uh, depends. <laughs> what's it worth to you? Twenty bucks. How about forty? All right, spill. The FBI's in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the black cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. All right, find little Tony. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing Mafia 2 and 3, but also the Assassin's Creed series is up next for the channel. Um, apparently, Assassin's Creed 3 is quite a big game. Um, it does have two discs because of the campaign. Um, it's split into two parts, but I'll see how it goes in the future. Seven Lancers are out on the road, deep in enemy territory as they take on bitter rivals, the Empire Bay Cannons. This year's Gold Series is shaping up to be one of the best on record, with both teams matching one another blow for blow. Despite the Cannons' home field advantage and an early lead in the series, the Lancers have bounced back and have really taken their rivals to task. Many of the plotteds and column inches have been dedicated to one man. Lancers pitcher Bunny Smith is one of this year's standout performers. And with this series tied at 3-3, three three, he may well be the key man that brings the Wistman Trophy back to lost heaven. But doing so will be no easy task, as standing in his way is opposition captain Foghorn, Jack Seidel. I like how when you go underground, the radio frequency, it's not really good. 
to have everyone glued to their radios. Can Bunny Smith bring it home for Lost Heaven? Or will the cannon's towering redhead have the final say? WLH 570 Lost Heaven Radio will carry live coverage of the final game of the Gold Series, and we hope you'll join us in wishing our boys well. And now, back to some of the latest musical numbers. That's when we'll turn off the radio for copyright. Everything okay, Tom? Alright, Game 7 of the 1933 Gold Series. So this is basically what the guy was talking about on the radio. No, no it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Councillor Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom, what's going on? Looks like something's about to go down. I might just check on the map and see what's happening. Hmm, doesn't really say anything. Oh, here we go. That's location. Yeah, Frank's been held by the FBI. Get to him and wait, see what happens. Hang on, what's the date? April 3rd, 1933. Imagine actually living in the 1930s. We return now to the coverage of Game 7 of the Gold Series. And by the looks of it, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be underway any minute now. The crowd here in the armory are restless. You can almost taste the tension as we approach this, the deciding game between these two famous rivals. More than a little bad blood between them and more than a couple of nasty flare-ups in recent years. Of course, this occasion, more than any other, could prove feisty, what with the drama that closed out the previous game. That, of course, saw the Lancers win to tie the series, and it's not often Empire Bay and Lost Heaven can post the game's best covering hitter and pitcher, respectively. I refer, of course, to Foghorn Seidel, the man mountain with a shock of red hair, and Lancer star, Bunny Smith. Speaking of Smith, he is jogging, I suppose you'd say, between his teammates, issuing last-minute orders. They seem responsive to whatever he's saying. He commands respect from his team, that is for sure. My goodness, there must be some nerves among some of the younger Lancers, Helms, Graves, and Nicholson. Smith seemed to have pepped them up. That's good to see. That's what a good captain does. The cannons lineup is meandering over to the home team dugout. The Lancers are slowly taking up their position so we can't be too far away from the opening pitch here at the Armory, the home of the Empire Bay Cannons. Stay with us for more. That's really cool. So it's game seven, so it must be the final game the series. Swift Cola. So Swift, Swift Cola, my guess is probably... I mean, Coca-Cola originated back in 1886. So I think Swift Cola is kind of like similar to Coca-Cola. I don't know if they had Coca-Cola back in the 1930s. Please let me know in the comments down below. If you think they had Coca-Cola back in the 1930s, oh, I might let you know in the pre in the uh, next video. If there's a police car, so we're just gonna take it easy for a minute. I'll wait for him to go around. There we go, much better. All right, we'll travel. We'll go about 20 k's. 20, 25. We'll stick to that. See how it goes. All right, we're cool. Cars are pretty good, I don't mind them. I, uh, I have been doing any live streams lately, I've just been making YouTube videos. Um, I think the last live stream I had was when I played uh, Wolfenstein The Old Blood. And I just decided not to do it anymore. And uh, the reason behind that is just some internet issues. But I just rather make videos instead of have a live stream.
Looks like the place. I'm not even controlling anything. This is like doing it itself, which is amazing. Fabulous parking. Hail Frank and his escort. Okay, so we've got Take a follow. Take me to those account books, Frank. And we return now to cover what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation, it's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors, Big Break Cigarettes and Lost Heaven Courier. Both of these teams could be said to be entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the core with promising youngsters set around. You I refer, of course, to Smith and Seidel. The Cannons have had several such golden periods. The Lancers, it's fair to say, have not. I can see Lancers manager Frankie Hodge prowling in front of the dugout, gesticulating. He seems animated, to say the least. Looks like he's putting one of the officials in his place or something or other. With the noise of the crowd, it is quite hard to say for sure. Whatever's going on down there, you can feel the sense of occasion, and you just know that whatever happens, the crowd will be the first to tell you what has happened. The Lancers are now within minutes of snatching the gold series, which at one stage had appeared doomed, but they equally teeter on the edge of defeat. It all comes down to the final play. Nobody is warming up in the bullpen. Nobody down there is considering the possibility of extra innings. Bunny Smith then, standing on the mound, a look of steely determination on his face. He's betraying no emotion, doesn't look nervous or tired after his exertions this series, nor does he appear to be carrying the weight of expectation. He's having a word with the umpire about something or other. What a strapping fellow. 6'2", 195 pounds. If the Lancers are to win here today, he's going to write himself into the record books. And boy, oh boy, what that would mean to the Could people of Lost Heaven after such a happen. long time without glory on the diamond. All right, they've sorted out whatever was going on. Here we go then. Into the cannons, it's Patty Doherty. Smith is pitching the game of his life, but Doherty's a big man. If he can catch one, it could run, and with bases loaded, the cannons would have it. Here we go. Doherty facing down Smith. Pass ball and strike. The big man thought he had it. Some speed on that ball. My goodness. It's fair to say Doherty looks a little spooked. He was convinced he had it. His body language tells the tale. Smith remains cool under pressure, not a flicker of emotion on his face. He winds up, and that's two. There was sip on that one. Good Lord. Seidel is barking something at Doherty, but we have no chance of hearing it as the noise of the crowd reaches fever pitch. Doherty's gesturing, and that's only making Seidel more irate. This is it, folks. Another strike, and the Lancers win. If Doherty can get behind it, surely the cannons will get all their men home and snatch victory. A swing and a miss, and that's the winners! Lancers win! Lancers win! And Smith finally cracks an elated smile. He's thrown his cap in the air, as have his teammates. Lancers win the 1933 Gold Series! Ah, uh, shit. They've taken you to the airport, Frank. Alright, so it's like the Lancers won the uh, World Series for baseball. Amazing you get to actually listen to sport in a video game. I don't really, they didn't really do that in video games anymore, like open world. They'll probably just play music, but then you'll have to, you know, turn off the music because of copyright. YouTube are really, really tough on copyright. And uh, apparently, you'll get fined if you get emails about copyrights and stuff, so you'll get fined. If you do copyright, no, a few YouTubers got in trouble um, for copyright. So yeah, sometimes they care, sometimes they don't care. 
but you know that's just my opinion. Okay, so we're going to the airport. Interesting. Alright, let's just stop about here for now. Yes, yes, I'm going, I'm going, calm down. I like it. I'll let you go, mate. There you go. Alright, I lost them. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Christ. They're flying them out of state or something. Fuck. This ain't good. find a way where Frank has been taken. So we're also going to do some stealth. Sneaky, sneaky. What do we got? We got a double barrel shotgun. Alright, I'm just going to probably go here. Okay, I can go through that way. Or I can go around the corner for that way. Alright, let's go. There's a blimp in the sky over there as well. Alright, let's take it easy. Oh, so like they can see me. There we go. Alright, we're just feeling they might see me. Oh, there's an entrance over there. Oh. Oh yeah, they'll say he's going over there to look for something. Anyone know what's going on? They're with the FBI. It's some sort of handover. Someone's being flown out. Oh, they're handing him over to who? Those men with the plane looked like gangsters. How long did it done? I'm due to fly. As soon as they fly their prisoner out, I guess. I don't know, a lot of these men don't look like cops. Now, well, let's try there. Alright, we almost got spotted. We'll keep it steady. I love the music. I love the music. I can have this kind of music on, but if it's got to do with, like, radios, then... Yeah. Okay, there's one. Kept the lid on this so far. Let's get it done quietly and go home. The plane there for you is Don Morello's. Are you sure of it? No. Morello hasn't been to even show his face. Wait for a rat like you? Nah. Get in the car. Right, I'll start heading that way. So what happens next? Once Morel gives us the books. Now right, let's try it there. Guys will go through them with a bite. That thing right there just fell over, I didn't notice. I love these kind of games, so they're, they're always stealthy. Okay. Can I 
pick up body? Yes, I can. Alright, now let's put you... Damn, I don't know where to take you. Let's put you here. There we go, perfectly. Perfection, now you're asleep. Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of him. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on, March. Alice, get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March! For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane. Please. been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Okay, get the account books from the bank. 
Good afternoon, sir. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Okay, what do we got? Manager's office. Okay, cool. Okay, we are doing business, so we're not really Beautiful doing anything. Day, huh? um, uh -huh. We're not doing anything illegal. Well, I think we are, but we're part of a, a crime family. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, yes, Mr. Angelo. Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio, when I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. I'm right, uh, right in the house. Let's move on to the next mission. I don't know how much missions we've got left, to be honest with you. But uh, so uh, it looks like Frank was killed. Um, I know we rescued him, but um, looks like he was killed as well during the. All right, visiting rich people, 1933. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Morell let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. 
Once Salvatore has a safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. Dead him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, sí, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si, sí. capisco. Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Per favore. It's amazing how they speak Italian. Well, there's no translation, but that's okay. Parli almeno un po' di italiano? Il capo ti ha detto il piano? Uh, I don't speak Italian. Eccellente. Ah, fantastico. Uh, no plan? Yeah, the bus told me. Ah, uh, please. Uh, um, understand. Entriamo dal labirinto? Senza farci sentire né vedere. La cassaforte è dietro un dipinto al primo piano. Dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella cassaforte avrà sicuramente un allarme. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be a long night for the both of us. Ah, Cristo Santo. Sorry, I'm just gonna. It's a bit windy today, so I'll just close the window a bit. Okay, my turn. Do what I do. Do not get caught. See? Si. You gotta keep safe. Safe? See? Si. Uh, it's um, uh, my job. Apro casa forte. Open safe. Christ. Okay. Radio. Let's listen to the radio. Eccellente. Hell of a view up here. A volte questo paese è estupendo. Entriamo da lì. Uh, over. Wall. Labirinto. What? Vedrai. Oh, amaze. Sì, un labirinto. Stay here while I take out the guards. A quanto pare in America hanno i labirinti. There's someone in the middle. <coughs> 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 Alright, that was weird. So we're in a maze, gotta figure out where I'm going. Sure wish I could have <coughs> Awesome. Alright, let's two down. Alright, 
we still have got three more. Gunfire will raise the alarm. Yeah, that's correct. Got one more. Check on the map. Here we got one more. Right there. Oh, there he is. Just saw him, so we're just gonna go around the corner. That's all of them. Salvatore! Where are you? We're clear! Tommy! I hear! Where the hell did he go? Son of a Tommy! Guy's a pain in the ass. That's pretty good. Taking my time doing stealth. Always take time when you're doing stealth missions. Open. Kick. What kind of luck picker are you? Okay, we can't really. Um, I don't know if we should do that. But alright, let's do it. Look for a dipinto. A what? Um, da Vinci, uh, Caravaggio. Uh, Painting? You're saying it's behind the painting? See, si, see. Si. Okay, I understand. Non quello. Guess we got another room to check. Okay, look behind paintings. Door. Here, Tommy. wall behind here. Ah, beautiful piano. Very fabulous. Alright, what's in here? Empire Bay mob boss murdered. Already's death brings to an end a spate of game violence that rocked the city recent month. Few will mourn his passing. Man, rest in peace. Are you sure it's behind one of these, Salvatore? Thank you, blah blah blah, Billy killed Roberto. Interesting. Ah, 
Brava. Uh, uh. Scusa. Sure. Show me what you can do. Shit. Be quick, Salvatore. Pacenza, pacenza. Doesn't matter. Come on, we need to get out of here. Vai dietro, dietro. Ah. They gotta be upstairs. Got him. Can we clear from that side? Okay, I want to change my shotgun and see if I can reload it. Can't reload it. Damn. That was cool. Got all of them, except for one. We missed one. All on duty officers. Gunshots being reported. This guy's dangerous. Take the guy. Finally, I get your first time. Forza! Andiamo ce ne! I know! Whatever you're saying, I know! Police? Devo dirti una cosa. Al nostro prossimo lavoro penso io alla casa forte. Hai capito? Ci ho quasi rimesso la pelle in quella villa. 
ed è tutta colpa tua. E impara almeno un po' di italiano per rispetto della nostra patria. Ah, è come parlare al mio cane, lo so, ma Cristo, dovevo dirlo. Non farlo mai più, mai più. Ok, ok. Uh, sure. accomplished visiting rich people blood on beach hill now we'll see what's gonna happen next if not I'll have to end the video we'll wait for the next mission to begin and then I'll probably see you in the next episode great deal 1933 This is the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for 10 years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. Convert them. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss, any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah. And you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south. And he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm. And he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab ass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. Alright, peeps, thank you for watching part 7 of the Mafia Def Definitive Edition. I hope you enjoyed it, um, and I'll see you in the next episode. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next, in the next video. Peace out, mate.